Okay, so I wanted to do a subscription box roundup where I talk about my thoughts on all of the products from the subscription boxes this month, which it's the Detox Market, Boxwalla, and Beauty Heroes. And um, I haven't done like a current skincare routine in a while, so I thought that I would combine the two. So because all of the products in the subscription boxes are actually in my routine, I've added, I've been able to add them all in. They all work really well together. Um, and then I can show you the few other things that I'm using, you know, along with the subscription box items to sort of like round them out. Some other things I'm trying to use up. Just show you what my skincare looks like right now and what my skin looks like right now which for the most part, it's not terrible. I did Dermaplane a couple of days ago and I think I broke out a little bit from that um, because my skin is a little bit broken out, like tiny little bumps. I mean, it's not terrible. It's still red. It's like always red. It doesn't really seem to matter what I do. It's like always red. Okay, so let's talk about cleansers first, which I forgot one. Okay, cleansers. So on the days that I take a shower, I do something different than on the days where I don't take a shower. Some days I will do like the whole thing. I'll shower, I'll exfoliate, yada, yada, yada. And then other days, um, like if I'm not doing anything or if I'm just going to the gym or I'm just, you know, I just want to do something simple. I don't really want to take a shower, wash my hair, do the whole nine yards. I will use um, something else. So on the days when I take a shower, currently right now I have the Ozamia pumpkin soap in the shower. Um, I always cut up these bars into like mini pieces so they last a lot longer. Like the current sliver that I have in there has been going on like, I don't know, like five months at this point. It, you know, I, I, cause I don't use it every day. Um, by cutting it up, you're making the bar last a lot longer. So one of these bars lasts me about an entire year, um, you know, cutting it up. And I alternate, so I will use the black clay soap next. Um, so buying the two bars, at once lasts me like almost two years. So I basically never have to buy soap. Um, but I've talked about this a ton. I love it. It's lightly exfoliating. It doesn't strip my skin. It's pretty much always my first cleansing step when I'm in the shower. And then on when I want like more, oh shoot, I just, this dripped all over my jeans. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Um, cause it was in the shower. Okay. So when I want more exfoliation, um, because that is just like a gentle exfoliation, like chemical, not physical. Like if I'm putting makeup on, I want more of like a physical exfoliation because I want my skin to look good. Um, the two that I have in the shower right now that I'm trying to use up are the Cora Org Organics Turmeric Brightening and Exfoliating Mask. I'm about done with this. Um, I got that in a detox box last year sometime. I do enjoy it. Um, it's, it's gentle. It's not too harsh. Um, it smooths my skin really nicely. And then the other one I really like is the Mukti 2-in-1 Resurfacing Exfoliant, which came in a Beauty Heroes box last year, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I'm alternating between those right now. They're both pretty gentle. Um, they both leave my skin feeling like super smooth. I used the Mukti one today. And then, so that's what I'm doing in the shower on the days that I shower, which is about four times a week. And then on the days that I don't shower, I use the other skincare NMF um, my cellar water. I am trying to finish up the old one. I do have the new one sitting right here, actually, which it's a little bit different. So she renamed it Flora and it does have a little bit of like a pinker hue um, than the old, the old version of it. So I'm excited to finish up my bottle of that so I can start using the new one um, because I do, I really love that. Uh, my cellar water. It's really gentle. Again, doesn't strip my skin. Feels really good. Okay, so now we can get on to the other stuff. So I'm going to do this in two parts. I'm going to do my daytime skincare with you right now, and then I will show you my nighttime skincare routine, you know, in a few hours when I'm ready to do that. Uh, I'll do it before it gets dark, so that way, you know, we can see. So before I do anything, I get out of the shower. I spray the Tower 28 uh, Daily Rescue Facial Spray. I've been using this stuff for a while now. I really love it. I do need to buy a new refill um, because I just I just refilled this and my refill got me to about half. So I need to I need to refill that. So I always do that no matter what else I'm doing. You know, in, in the mornings after I get out of the shower, when I do this um, at night, I always spray this first. And sometimes a few times, like if I don't do my skincare right away, like today, I did not do my skincare right away because I wanted to sit down and do this. So I dried my hair first, which I usually don't do. 
I usually do skincare and then dry my face, um, or dry my hair, <laughs> but I was a little bit off today. Um, okay, so then the next thing that I do, so I do use the box Walla items in the morning. So we've got the Sea Shield Refining Antioxidant Serum and the Time Traveler's Renewing Face Cream from Skin Alchemist. I do use both of those during the day and I'm really enjoying both of those. I'm not gonna go into like super detail about each product because I don't want this video to be an hour long. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you where I'm fitting them in, how I feel about them, all of that. Okay, so we're gonna do the Sea Shield first. So currently I'm trying to use up the Leilani Citrus and Citrine Toner. So the thing that I will say about this is you wanna make sure you use it on damp skin, which I think the instructions say to do, but I, I uh, neglected to do that um, the first few times that I used it and it was really kind of like tacky. It didn't sink into the skin that nicely. So once I realized that you're supposed to use this on damp skin, then it started to work a lot better. So I get my face good and wet. I use a pump of this and then I put this on before the mist has time to dry. So let's see. It says it's described as a feather light um, water-based serum designed to brighten, hydrate, and smooth skin while supporting the skin barrier. It contains a powerful antioxidant complex that includes two gentle, stable, and bioavailable forms of vitamin C, sodium, ascorbyl phosphate, and ascorbyl glucoside that in addition to preventing free radical damage, gently combat breakouts as well. I don't know that I've noticed that so much. Maybe, I don't know. My skin is doing mostly well, but I think that's also because, you know, my diet has been mostly decent. I really haven't been eating sugar hardly at all. Um, the antioxidant complex also contains white pine bark, uh, green coffee seed, and super oxide dismutase that neutralizes super uh, oxide radicals while reducing redness. Um, intense hydra uh, Tremella polysaccharides provide intense hydration. Freshwater microalgae offer prebiotic balance. Yeast oleg oleg oligopeptide gently boosts cell turnover to re uh, retexturize the skin. And niacinamide supports the skin barrier. Regular use refines the appearance of pores, texture, redness, and hyperpigmentation. I don't know, you tell me. What do you think about my skin lately? I mean, it still gets a little bit tacky, so I do tend to missed again after I've used it just to like get it all in there. Um, so yeah, that's my serum that I'm using during the daytime. I am only using this during the daytime because I am using the Cus Cus one at night and I don't think both are necessary at the same time. So I will use some kind of water-based serum then I'm using my oil serum, which I can tell you about what I'm using right now um, while this dries a little bit. So I'm finishing up a Natura Detox Oil from um, Nini Organics. I have an idea in mind once I finish up this oil for a video, so I am trying to finish that one up. And then I am adding in a drop each of the Audacite um, Booster Concentrates. I'm using the Wild Carrot for Vital Glow and then I'm using the green tea lemongrass for radiance effect. These are a couple of my older ones, so I wanted to use them. I'm almost done with this one, but this one is still sort of full. And I do really like adding them in with the oil, so I'll do five drops of the oil and then one drop each of these. So we'll do that here in just a minute. So I've been using the Boxwalla item, the Seed Shield, for a couple of weeks now. I can't remember when exactly it came in, I feel like it was like the end of October and I've been using it since then. I don't know, with my skin, sometimes it's like really hard to tell what is making a difference and what isn't because my skin is just so finicky and it like always looks kind of like blotchy and discolored. And it doesn't really seem to matter what I do. And I am breaking out right now because like I said, I think it's from the dermaplaning. I don't know. I really wanted to dermaplane my face and I needed it bad. <laughs> I hadn't done it in such a long time. But now my skin is like nice and smooth. I just need to keep up with it. Okay, now we're gonna do the oil, the oil serum. So I'm gonna get my, my oils ready. Okay, so I'm gonna spray again. If 
five drops. One, two, three, four, five. One drop each of the booster concentrates, and then I mix them together and press in. I do really love this oil. This is one of my favorite oils. I find it really helps with like balancing. It never leaves me feeling greasy. And then the added effect of like the booster concentrates, I do really think help with like, you know, making my skin look really good. I mean, I have like a glow right now, but that's because of the serum, you know, plus the oils, plus I just dermaplane my face. Um, my skin always tends to look really good right after I dermaplane. Okay, so that's, that's that. Do something with the <laughs> excess oil. So I do use this again at night, so you will see it again. Um, just because, like I said, I am trying to finish up that oil, so I am using it. Um, I am using it twice a day. And then we mist again. Mist a lot if you're trying to use up mists. I've been working really hard on mist using up like a lot of my my mist collection. Okay, so while that dries, we'll talk about the um, the cream. Because in the mornings, I am using the Time Traveler Skin Alchemist Cream. There's Pugsley. <laughs> so let's see. It's a luscious treatment designed to deliver deep hydration while targeting wrinkles, blemishes, and oxidative stress. It's made in a base of colloidal silver, traditionally revered by alchemists and healers. Colloidal silver and black seed oil clarify and restore the skin. The cream contains a cell renewing complex of bakuchiol along with cacay, rosehip, and sea buckthorn oils. Bakuchiol is an extract of the leaves and seeds of bopchi um, used in Ayur Ayurveda and TCM. Um, it's an antioxidant that soothes skin and reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Kapuku butter softens the skin, improving its elasticity and firmness while aloe and squalane deeply hydrate. It delivers soft, plump, and glowing skin. So just add on, add on more glow to what we've already got going on here. So, um, it's about, it's a little, it's a little damp still, but it's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and add I'm gonna go ahead and add that. I'm going to rub that in. I have really been liking this as well. I, you know, I've had really good success with all of the items in the boxes this month, which I'm really surprised. Like sometimes they don't always work together or sometimes they overlap, but I really like the combination of items this month because you can use, you can, you know, use them all, create a day and a night routine, which I'll show you my night routine later. But yeah. So that's the last of the skincare that I do. Um, I do finish it up with the Amley Digital Detox Silver Rich Face Mist, which I found hanging out in my items. And it's just another mist that I need to use up. So finish that one off. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing that I do is I use the Cora Organics uh, Berry Bright Vitamin C Eye Cream. A few of you guys were interested in my thoughts on this, so I went and pulled it out. So, okay. Um, so I'll tell you some information about it because I did find the card. So it contains an active 5.5% vitamin C blend that helps brighten, strengthen, and firm the delicate eye area to minimize fine lines, wrinkles, and puffiness. It's rich and creamy and feels so hydrating and nourishing. Um, sits perfectly under makeup, which it works fine under makeup. I've never had an issue. So it is refillable. I wasn't sure when I initially filmed my This Just In, but it is refillable, which I guess explains all this excessive packaging, but still. I mean, it's all, this is like a big, <laughs> it's a big eye cream. So you can see it's got like a pod that you stick in. Targets the appearance of aging for firmer, more youthful looking skin around the eye area, helps reduce waste by replenishing with a new refill pod, which it's nice um, because you can just take this out and pop this part in the recycle and then refill it. And the only thing that goes in the garbage is that sort of like top, you know, label thing. So I take, you, I need, you need a very tiny bit of this. So I do two dots under each eye and then I put the excess back in the container <laughs> and then I just pat it in. 
I don't, I have not been using it long enough to notice if it's making any kind of difference, but I do really like the way that it feels. Um, you know, it, it's very nice and like hydrating under there. It doesn't interact with like makeup, you know, it doesn't pill or anything like that. None of this does, you know, my regular makeup, which is the Alima Pure Pressed Foundation, which is basically all that I use. Um, if you use any other kind of makeup, I can't speak to that. Um, I've never tried it with liquid, but the routine that I'm using right now works great with powdered makeup. Um, my, Cause I have like a very nice hydrated moisturized base and then I put powders on top of it and my skin just looks really good. So this has got uh, kangaroo pawflower, cloudberry, cockadoo plum, and red ginseng. Providing a rich source of antioxidants, boosting skin's radiance, and smoothing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, so I do really love it so far. You know, texture-wise, performance. I mean, I don't, like, how much is actually going to change under here? I don't really know. Like, how much, I don't know that it can get much brighter, because I feel like the the area underneath my eyes is definitely much brighter than, you know, the rest of my face because the rest of my face gets super red, excuse me. Um, wrinkles. I mean, my wrinkles aren't terrible. And I feel like they're really only there when I smile and when I not when I, you know, when I don't smile, it's not like they are still there. You know, they're very softened. So I like it. Um, I don't really know how much more difference it's going to make underneath my eyes because I don't think my under eyes at the moment need a ton of correcting, but I will keep using it and I will keep you updated as time goes on. But, you know, initial impressions are I do really like the texture of it. I like the way that it makes my under eyes feel. Works great with makeup. I don't, I really don't have any complaints. I'm gonna go ahead and try this because this is sitting here and I forgot. This is that um, Kidali's uh, Banana Lip Balm, which I was in, it's in the, um, the Best of Bundle from Detox Market and I haven't tried it yet. Mmm. It does feel nice. All right, so anyway, I am going to finish getting ready. Um, that is my daytime skincare routine. And then tonight we will talk about um, my nighttime skincare routine. The only other thing that's not a face product that's in one of the boxes this month is the Cus Cus Lemon Body Potion, which I'm still obsessed with. I haven't used it just because I am trying to, I haven't used it since my review, just because I am trying to finish up my Osea Andaria body oil, I am almost done with that. And I've been working really hard on finishing up an actual body oil. Cause I think I've only ever finished up like one in my entire life. <laughs> I have a bunch of open body oils in my cabinet. Um, so I am trying really hard to work on that, uh, finishing that up. And then I will go back to using this, but I am obsessed with this. It smells, it smells so good. It is so creamy. It's going to be perfect for the winter months when it gets really dry. Um, but yeah, I love that. So we will talk about the detox box featuring Audacite tonight, as well as the Cus Cus D drop. Um, those are the only things that I haven't talked about yet that are in boxes. So that'll be tonight. I will see you momentarily because for you, it'll just be like a few seconds and for me, it'll be hours, but I will see you in just a few seconds. Okay, welcome back. I meant to do this earlier, but we got back from what we were doing very late and then I had to make dinner and then put Oliver to bed. So um, it is now late and my cat is meowing down there. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna talk about nighttime, nighttime routines, what I am doing in the nighttime um, and how I am incorporating certain uh, beauty box, subscription box products into my nighttime routine and all of that. So I did already go ahead and cleanse my face. I did not wear makeup today. I was originally intending to, but then I just did not have time before I left house this morning. Um, and so I didn't wear makeup all day, but I still did use the Audacite uh, Montana Harvest Hemp and Seabuckthorn Omega Oil Cleanser. Um, and I, I do really enjoy it. I, I don't believe it's supposed to be enzymatic, but my face actually does feel um, quite, like it just feels very clean and smooth. So let's see, it's harvested from the plains of Montana. Organic hemp and safflower seeds produce oils bursting with omega-369. 
fatty acids to quickly dissolve impurities and toxins, leaving skin smooth and clean, yet never stripped. So I don't think it's supposed to be enzymatic, but it makes my face feel, you know, very clean and smooth. So that's the first product in the detox box this month. I do enjoy it if you are looking for a new oil cleanser. Do I think it's like a product that you should rush out for, that it's like so innovative in like the oil cleanser formula that you're missing out if you don't try it? No. <laughs> um, but if you're looking at that box going, well, I do need a new oil cleanser. Well, I do need a new night cream. These would make a good addition to, you know, products that I'm running out of. Um, I think it's worth a try if you don't have an aversion to lemongrass because both of the products in the detox box are very lemongrass heavy. <laughs> um, I don't mind, I don't mind lemongrass that much, but I do know a lot of people who really dislike lemongrass, so that's why I mentioned that. Um, they are both very strong. And while it doesn't linger with the oil because you rinse it off, it does linger with the face cream, which we will get to at the very end. Um, so if I am double cleansing, um, the other cleanser that I'm really using, I'm I'm not very consistent with cleansers. Cleansers, um, one because I'm like always testing something new. I have been testing um, new cleansing bombs off and on um, for my cleansing bomb video, which probably at this point will happen in January is what I'm aiming for. I do have four. Is that right? I have four cleansing bombs I need to test that um, I have acquired in recent months um, that need to be tested for that video. So I should be able to have that video up in January. That's a series of videos. Um, so I'm always testing something new. I really don't have any cleansers that I use with regularity because with cleansers, you, you don't need to test them for like months to know if you like them or not. Do they clean your skin? Do they remove makeup? Uh, do they leave your skin feeling nice and not stripped? I mean, really, you use it a couple of times and you know whether you like it or not. Um, so I I go back and forth between all different kinds of oil cleansers, balm cleansers, you know, whatever. Um, a cleanser that is a second cleanse or an only cleanse if I am not wearing makeup that day and I decide, you know, I don't want to use an oil cleanser, I just want to use something like creamy. Um, I love the Osea Ocean Cleansing Milk. I always have this sitting on my sink. Um, so like when I'm done cleansing my face, I do a couple of pumps and, you know, rinse. I love the ocean cleansing milk. It's, I believe it's unscented. Yeah, it's unscented. It, it leaves my skin feeling like really nice and soft. Um, it's very gentle. I really, really like this. This is one of my favorite Osea products. So yeah, that's a good cleanser. If you're looking for a very gentle second cleanse or you're looking for a creamy cleanser, um, again, gentle. Oh, it's Pugsley. He's hanging out on the bed. <laughs> oh, did you see? I, I forgot to mention. This is, um, if you watched my This Just In, Derma E sent me, you know, a couple of these like fluffy headbands and they're like super cute. It says Derma E on it. And it's, it's actually really nice. Like it's nice. It's a nice, uh, you know, frame for my face. Anyway, whatever. Okay. So then I do the same thing. I cleanse my face. I tower 28. Um, so as far as nighttime cleansing goes, that's basically what I do. An oil cleanser or a balm cleanser of some kind, whatever I'm testing at the moment. And then usually my second cleanse is this because I'm very lazy and I don't take out other second cleanses that often. Um, what else I have sitting by my, my sink right now is uh, the Graydon Foam Cleanser and the uh, Fit Glow Foam Cleanser and also the Acar soothe cleanser, but I don't use those that often. I really strictly reach for the Osea just because I know that I like it. I know that it's gentle. I know that my face likes it. So um, I'm always testing first cleanses, but second cleanses, I don't test as much. I got to work on that because <laughs> I have a lot of second cleanses too. Okay. So in the morning I used the Sea Shield. For the evening, I'm going to be using the D-Drop Humectant Factor um, from Cuscus. This is the one that is in the Beauty Heroes box. So um, yeah, I, what I'm actually gonna do today is I did pull out my Solar Wave, um, the blue light wand. So I am gonna be using that today and you do wanna use it on like hydrated skin. So I'm going to take, um, I usually use two pumps, but I'm gonna pump three just to sort of keep my skin almost wet for as long as, excuse me, as possible so I can use the wand. So I did, you know, I did charge it. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this for 
a few minutes. So while I'm doing this, let me actually, if I can do two things at once, <laughs> um, I'm going to look up what the blue light one actually does. So I do have the I do have the pink one uh, or the regular one, and I just purchased the blue light one. So this has the blue light therapy, where the other one is the red light therapy. So let me pull it up. It says to use it about five minutes, you know, for like the first week. I'm trying to get there. Okay, so blue light wand. It's a compact at-home skincare tool that combines three proven technologies that fight breakouts, boosts the effects of serums and topicals, um, and improves your skin's radiance. So it's supposed to help mostly with breakouts. Where the other one, it does get nice and warm. Um, the other one, Doesn't really say, it's just red light. I'm trying not to do the same spots over and over again. <laughs> um, reduce the appearance of wrinkles, fine lines, dark circles, blemishes, and dark spots. Depuff and energize the skin in as little as five minutes per day, three times per week. That's the red light one. And the blue light one, let me pull back, pull that one back up, okay. And then I can switch sides. Yeah, it's the same one. It's just uh, fights against breakouts, boosts the effects of serums and topicals, fades blemishes and smooths fine lines, boosts skin glow, amplifies serums and moisturizers, reveal a youthful radiance. And I did just charge it. It's supposed to last 60 minutes um, per charge. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then I will move on. Um, okay, but I guess I can talk about this. So yeah, the D-Drop Humectant Factor, I'm enjoying it. I think, it's a, if, I think it's a good if you're looking for just like, you know, a hydrating serum, if you're not looking for anything with like super bells and whistles, because I haven't noticed anything besides it being, you know, very hydrating. And it actually works really well with this serum. Not with this serum, with the wand. Um, it's just kind of fun. It's just <laughs> I know a couple of people were kind of like weirded out that they put peppermint in it, but I don't, it's not that strong. I don't have any irritation from the peppermint, but again, I don't have super sensitive skin. So if you're someone that's like super sensitive, that might actually be a concern for you, but it really wasn't for me. Um, but again, I just don't have sensitive skin, but I think it's a good basic serum. Would I rebuy it? I mean, it's only $38, which I don't think is terrible um, if you're looking for a hydrating serum, especially without hyaluronic acid, because most hydrating serums um, are hyaluronic acid based. So I don't think it's terrible. If it was $70, I would say no, because why does a hydrating serum need to be $70? That doesn't do anything else besides hydrate, but $38 I don't think is terrible. So now the, now the goal is to be consistent. Can I be consistent with this to actually see results? So I'll have to save the clip of my face from before. So that way you can see, or I can save it. So in like a month or whatever. But like I break out so often that like, Will it even really make that much of a difference on my skin? I don't know, but I like it. Okay, I think I'm done. So that is that. I made you sit through that whole thing, which I mean, it wasn't really that long, but my skin does feel really nice. Okay, so then we do oil serum again, which is the same as the daytime. I'm using the Natura Detox Oil with the Audacite um, <clears throat> Radiance Effect and Vital Glow. 
uh, serum booster concentrates. So I'm going to spray my face again with the Leilani toner, which I'm trying to use up right now. Get it nice and damp. Three, four, five drops. I'm gonna do two drops of the Vital Glow and one, two of the other one because I <laughs> miscalculated how many drops were gonna come out. But I do tend to do more uh, in the evening just because my skin will absorb it. I'm not putting makeup on top of it, so if I use a little bit more oil, not a big deal. So, that is the oil serum combo. I really like it. The combination of the uh, Nini Detox Oil to balance my skin and help with breakouts and things like that um, pairs really nicely with the serum concentrates to help with like glow and uh, what is this one? Radiance effect. Do I look radiant and glowy? <laughs> uh, I don't really know if these uh, serum concentrates really do all that much, except for the pimple one. The pimple one I know works because I've used that as a spa treatment and it works really well as a spot treatment, but do these other ones really help with glow and radiance? I don't know, I just use them because I have them. <laughs> I mean, I feel like to some effect they probably work, but my skin is so like uneven all the time. Like I really would love to be able to afford like, you know, laser treatments or whatever to help with like, you know, the discoloration and the hyperpigmentation and things like that and just make my skin like one even color, but I be living the single mom life now. That's not in the, uh, <laughs> it's not in the budget. Not like it was before, because I didn't spend money on those kinds of things. But um, I'm also very, very middle class. <laughs> Let's just say. Okay, so that's on. I'm gonna spray again, and then we're gonna use the Audacité Creme de la Nuit. Nuit. So while this dries, um, just to refresh your memory of what this is. So it's the restorative night cream, vitamin C and ashwagandha. So it's a unique velvety signature formula that is pure nocturnal magic, clinically proven to deliver visible results. Um, this beauty elixir combines the expertise of clinical skin science with high performance plant and ocean botanicals to reveal fresher, more youthful looking skin. Um, so let's see, I think I have the thing here. Yeah, I do. Does, do I have plump and brighten the look of skin? I really hate when they give these like one sentence descriptions of like what it's supposed to do, even though they put like all kinds of, um, like ingredients in them that do other things. Okay. So here's the consumer study results after the first night. So combines the power of clinical grade ingredients with high performance botanicals to create an ultra pure and active night elixir. They've put the creme de la nuit, probably pronouncing that wrong, through two independent studies, one clinical and one consumer usage to, prov to prove its efficacy and instant gratification effect. So 86% of consumers said that it left their skin looking more hydrated after one night. And I would agree, my skin looked really good the first night that I used this, I was skeptical, but like the next day, my skin looked really good and it felt really good. Um, I definitely felt like it felt, I definitely would concur that it felt hydrated. So healthy looking, made my skin more healthy looking. 73% uh, said that, I would also concur with that. My skin did look, like I said, again, really good the next day. General appearance, 69% uh, said improved the general appearance of my skin. Again, I would concur. 60% uh, said left my skin more glowing. I didn't necessarily notice that, but I definitely noticed the improve, like the general appearance of my skin looked improved, like more even, which is one of the things on here. So visibly younger, my skin looks visibly younger, 52%. I didn't notice that because I don't think my skin looks old, like really. So I don't really know what looking younger would mean. I, that would probably be like a, a higher um, age bracket is my guess. 47% uh, said made my skin tone more even looking, which again, I would concur with that. 
Um, 43% said reduce the appearance of wrinkles, which again, I didn't really notice that because I don't have a ton to begin with. Um, okay, so consumer, so let's see. The efficacy of the uh, thing was measured through a clinical study and a consumer test from day one to day 28. So those, this, what I just read off was just from one day. Uh, skin condition measured through the clinical study revealed significant improvement in hydration, elasticity, and firmness after two weeks. Over 28 days, the consumer study panel agreed on the following skin improvements. Um, so left my skin feeling more hydrated. Is that like 100% after 28 days? Well, actually, it looks like they cut off at 14 days, but it was at 100%. Um, healthy looking skin was at 91% after 28 days. General appearance was at 95% after 20, 21 days. Glow was at 95% after 21 days. Uh, visibly younger was at 82% after 21 days. Uh, even looking was 87% after 28 days and then wrinkles was 78%. I mean, that's good data, I think. I mean, the more that I use it, the more that I like the way that my skin looks and I haven't had any issues with the cacao butter, as far as I can tell, like I'm not breaking out. Um, usually when I use cacao butter, I will get cystic acne um, cause it really, something about it really irritates my skin. Um, the acne that I have right now is just more surface and I think it's got to do with me dermaplaning because it started after I dermaplaned. I was not having these like tiny little breakouts all over my face before I dermaplaned. So I don't know if it's just the exfoliation from the dermaplaning or if I irritated my skin somehow. Um, but it's just, it's tiny, like very surface acne. It's not, um, it's not cystic though. These ones around my chin are just like very annoying. So anyway, um, I like it. I haven't used it for 28 days. Um, I've only used it for about a week so far, like consecutively. I have been very good about my night routines. <laughs> um, I know that, I, there, I mean, I wasn't for like a really long time. And a lot of my mental health problems uh, have ceased in recent months. I mean, you could probably assume why. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I've, I've been taking better care of myself. I've been taking care of my skin. I've been eating better. Um, Cause I think I was, I don't, I don't, I don't know. We're not gonna talk about it. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this is this, again, very lemongrass heavy. And this one does linger on the skin a bit um, because it does stay on the skin and we're not, you know, we're not rinsing it off. But I will keep using this as long as I don't have um, something that I need to test uh, for the nighttime. The Beauty Heroes box for December did just come in, so I need to actually take a look at what's in that and where I can fit that into my routines. Because I do want to keep testing this out and, you know, seeing, you know, if it, you know, makes my skin look better in the long term. All right, so that's that. And then the last thing, try to get rid, I should have brought a towel in here. <laughs> the last thing we do again is the Cora Organics eye cream which I talked about again, I really don't know how much this is going to improve, you know, my under eyes because I don't feel like my under eyes really are that much of a problem. I mean, just like compared to the rest of my face, it's like the one area of my face that's not bright red. <laughs> so then I will mist. So the other mist, I, so if you remember during the day, I was using the Amly Digital Detox. Um, at night, I'm using the Amly Beauty Sleep. Overuse it to try to use it up, because <laughs> that's what I do. And then we're gonna finish off with the Fit Glow Night Lip Serum. And my lips are chapped today, boy. I don't know why dry air or something. I don't know. Anyway, so that is everything um, from the beauty boxes that are being featured currently. So the uh, box walla box technically is the December box, but I do believe, are people still, are people getting it yet or have only influencers gotten it so far? I can't, I can't keep up. And I don't think the 
subscriptions are closed yet, but I will make a note below if I am mistaken on that. Um, but it's the Sea Shield Refining Antioxidant Serum, which I'm using during the day and I'm very much enjoying, and the Skin Alchemist's Renewing Face Cream, which again, I am enjoying very much. I was using it at night before the, um, the detox market one came in and it works as great as like a night cream too. Um, you know, it's lightweight, but it, it keeps my skin hydrated and moisturized. So that is the box walla box. Really liking that. Um, do recommend it if you're again looking for those kinds of products, if you need a day cream, if you need a day serum, or just, you could use this day and night too. It doesn't have to be, it, it does suggest using it day and night, but because I am using the D drop, um, I am only using it during the day. So if you're looking for something vitamin C related, you want to test a new face cream, that is there if you want that option. Um, the Beauty Heroes box is the Cuss Cuss Lemon Body Potion, which I recommend getting the box just for this. Like, even if you have no interest in this, the body potion is like this is otherworldly. My God, I love it. It makes me want a lemon bar really, really bad. <laughs> like I really want to go make lemon bars or like lemon cake or lemon something. I love lemon desserts. My, my kid had a lemon uh, lollipop the other day. He picked it out from um, the box of lollipops that we had. I, I let him pick a color and he picked lemon and then he hated it. <laughs> He's like, this is lemon. <laughs> Did not like the lemon. Um, but yeah, I would recommend getting the box just for that because that is a fabulous product. And then the D-Drop is a really good hydrating, you know, serum if you're looking for just a simple hydrating serum that doesn't have hyaluronic acid in it. I know that there are people on both sides of the fence on that one. I don't really have an issue with hyaluronic acid. Um, I haven't noticed any detriment to my skin from using it. Um, so I sort of switch back and forth between both. Both, it sort of just depends on what... Does this have hyaluronic acid? Does the Sea Shield have hyaluronic acid? Let's find out. Yeah, so this one, this one does have hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronic acid, no hyaluronic acid. It depends how you feel. I like both. I think both work really well. Both hydrate my skin. Um, if I had to compare the two, I mean, obviously this is not a vitamin C serum, so all it does is hydrate. This can leave my skin a little tacky depending on if I layer it, you know, on a damp enough face or if I, you know, dampen it afterwards, but this also has vitamin C in it. So it also is doing more than hydrating. Um, but that's the Beauty Heroes box. And then the Detox box is the Audacity oil cleanser, which is a very nice oil cleanser. Not, you know, gonna win any awards for, you know, like innovative, super innovative, you know, out of this world, out of the box, you know, it's, it's an oil cleanser. <laughs> But it's good, I mean, it works. It does what it's supposed to do. And then the creme de la nuit, um, the, night, the night cream, which so far I have really, really been enjoying and have been impressed with it. My skin has looked really good, you know, when I've been using it, um, which again, it's only been for like a week, but I feel like I've, I've seen some good results using it. I wake up in the morning and my skin looks great. As long as I take care of it and I keep it looking great, it will keep looking great, but sometimes, um, you know, depending on the day, if I'm having like a really bad day or whatever, and I tend to neglect my skin and then I just like touch it all the time because I'm a very much a stress face toucher and then I just break out even more. Um, but yeah, again, another good box. All good boxes this month. I really enjoy all of them. I've had really good success with all of them. This has been long enough. But yeah, that's all that I have for this video. Um, depending on what the boxes are for next month, maybe I will do another one of these, sort of depending on where I can fit in, um, you know, whatever the detox box and beauty heroes box products are if i can fit them in with the box walla products we'll see um we'll see what i'm doing next month but um yeah if you like my skincare routine video sort of like mixed in with the beauty box roundup let me know that too um, if that's a more interesting way to watch them than just me talking about them even though i did talk about them a lot um, i did a lot of talking um, but yeah i'm gonna go this is long enough i will see you in my next one bye